traitor, Desi. You're a traitor to the Irish people. No, to the real Irish people, you're a traitor. Yeah, well, if, 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 if being a racist loving my country and loving the Irish people, if being a racist loving the Irish people is, well, that's what I am, buddy. Well, you think open borders is a good thing. 800 years of violence is not is, is a fucking horrible thing. Yeah, I'll record you all day long, buddy. All day long I'll record you. You don't fucking matter to me. You're the traitor. What's up? Here I have an article from the Irish Independent and it says Sinn Féin TD told he should have been you know what imprisoned by pro-Irish protesters because I'm not going with this anti-immigration nonsense. These people in the media want to go with anti this and anti that and what they don't understand and what they fail to support are people that are pro-Irish that want to keep their community safe and protected and preserved which they are entitled to do and yet this media and these politicians are out there calling you all sorts of names like in the video that you just saw before this that they conveniently left out talking about here in this article they didn't tell you what Desi Ellis is saying back to people or is even instigating with people you know it's something that we've looked at over the years where you see a politician come out with a sob story like this one here where he's cry banning out of him to make you feel sorry for him but they failed to tell you what actually happened so that's why videos with these people are important because these politicians, in my humble opinion, are career lawyers that are now being caught out when it comes to videos that are emerging. Because years gone by, when you'd have the likes of the newspaper and that was only your source that you could rely on, these people could say and do anything. And nobody had any sort of power or nobody had any sort of influence to go, here, hang on, what they're saying isn't true. Yet now, you're seeing videos emerge that are contradicting what these people are saying and indeed shedding these people in a bad light. You have Sinn Féin that have gone to the wall. They have become woke. They have become leftist. They are just the same as any other party that's in there in the doll. They are all the same. It's a uniparty in my humble opinion. A party in Sinn Féin that's led by Mary Lou MacDonald. A woman that has a brother that now thinks he's a woman. That has Ona Brun, the Harry Potter of housing. A guy that's going to magically fix it all but can't define what a woman is outside of the doll. But yeah, he's with Lynn Boylan. And I know some people have some question marks about that. But anyway, you've got a 70-year-old man. I'm going to say that again. A 70-year-old man that's saying the things that he's saying here in this article. I mean, it's incredible. This is a generation of people, the people that are 70s, that think they're hardy books, they do. They think they're tough guys. And they had a tough time and all that. Oh yeah, Brits out, guys. Everybody else in, though. And yet, though... With the past that this fella has, people saying things to him, oh, it's very naughty, very very not nice. Interesting, isn't it? The hypocrisy, isn't it? I think it's very, very interesting. So you see this here, Desi Ellis, a former IRA prisoner, has criticised the Garda response to anti-immigration protesters in his Dublin Northwest constituency. Wouldn't you think that that person probably wouldn't be the biggest fan of Garda? No, 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 that's not how it goes now. But he said he would not file a guard a complaint over those personally abusing him as it would give the protesters ammunition. So he decided to cry to the media instead. Very good idea. That's that's top tier intelligence there now. 70 years of age, absolute genius. Stalwart. I don't know why you're not leading Sinn Féin to be quite honest with you there. A video posted on Telegram on Tuesday shows Mr. Ellis crossing the road in Finglas Village with someone out of picture showing they should have done that to you in England. They then go on to describe that he was approached by a man with a dog because they want you to think of Desi Ellis as a very feeble guy, a guy that's, I'm not feeling intimidated by these people. They want you to think of him some sort of hero. But see, the days of the media convincing you that these are how things actually occurred are over. Like I said, that video at the start gives you a different light, doesn't it? When he's happy to call constituents and people with genuine concerns racists. Sure, you might be offended by the colourful language that people are using, but when you look at the history of this man, I'm sure you're going to say, oh well, I'm sure he can handle that. As well as the comment about that that appeared in the video, Mr Ellis said the individual whom he said he recognised was shouting and screaming at me and called him a traitor. Another video posted on X, formerly known as Twitter, in June shows Mr Ellis repeatedly being called a traitor for support for migrants. Is there a lie there? Is there a lie there? While in January of this year, a large anti-immigration protest, you mean pro-Irish protest, that's what you mean, took place outside its constituency office. These people are worried because these people 
in my opinion in politics have certain areas in my humble opinion sewed up where they go that's the type of clientele that we have here and that's the type of party we can promote ourselves in that way towards people i'm sure Sinn Féin now are hitting the panic button they're like oh my god what are we gonna do what do we do here guys because people have figured them out and what needs to happen right now is you need to see people that are gonna rise in that constituency and say we're going to take that spot we're going to take that seat you're seeing brendan howland retire you're seeing richard bruton retire because these people are all seeing the writing on the wall and that's what you need to make these people feel you need to make them go oh oh and you need to let them know that there are going to be nationalist patriots and people that love this country running for positions and going to take these positions off them look at the low amount of votes that these people get and these people are expecting and they're anticipating hoping for low turnouts and low votes imagine you get a person in a constituency like this that becomes known and that becomes supported 400 500 maybe even a thousand people at their gatherings and they're all in support there and you get a couple of people that are at this fella's one it's going to become really clear and obvious and especially then at times of an election then if there's any sort of messing people are going to know really quickly then because how can a popular person lose to an unpopular person how is that possible so this is what these people are all afraid of and these people all realize and then it becomes really obvious then if they do try to start some messing it's happened a good few times mr ellis said on tuesday i'm expecting more when it comes to the local elections they are the same people that's a tinge of fear there i would say i'd say he's realizing uh uh-oh there's more of this on the way and isn't that a very clear indication into how he's thinking and potentially even how the party is thinking where they're like oh my god people have figured this out here this isn't good and i'm gonna get more of it are you gonna take a joe biden approach because you're gonna (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and people say what are you bringing american politics into it for why do you see what he says now in the moment they give you a good laugh you're gonna hide in the basement desi is that how you're going to campaign for the next election i think that's probably why it's given what's going on here now because those videos that came out of you there outside of a place there in santry where you were telling people that the fellas that were being shoved in forcibly because the guardie decided to push people out of the way and forcibly put them into that area you were telling those people all sorts of nonsense and that gets around public recordings and people wised up to you very quickly big supporters of you have now turned these were the same people now this should absolutely 100 percent guarantee that you're going to vote against this guy in the next election look what he says about you these were the same people that didn't vote and were always there before i get into the next comment because this is all to do with it as well and it's hilarious but he's trying to tell you that you're a do nothing that's exactly what he's trying to do he's trying to say i'm not worried about you this is how arrogant these politicians are yeah you're doing nothing you're not going to do anything about that your vote doesn't matter you're not going to vote you're not going to change this well as i said if you get a big support for one or maybe even two individuals that are going to take support away from this guy he's going to worry then because it's going to look really bad but i'll go through the full quote there these were the same people that didn't vote and we're always there but now have a platform through trump (laughs) what's donald trump got to do with it and people go oh you just said joe biden well considering the fact that you are now obviously saying that trump is negative this is the connotation you're going with but you're not saying that joe biden is negative have you seen the videos of joe and and what he's doing with other people's kids have you seen those videos have you seen those images i don't know if i'd be attributing myself to that now But then again, you know yourself when it comes to these things. If you know your history as well, when it comes to these things, you'll you'll have a good idea. And people like that, and they think they can go and abuse people and get away with it. Is that a threat? Is that a threat? That reads like a threat, doesn't it? Mr. Rada said he felt that local Gardaí haven't done enough. This is what you're starting to see now as well, too. You're starting to see politicians try to pressure Gardaí because, you know, these people, as I always say, this sort of stuff is too stupid to be stupid and what i'm seeing is these politicians that are taking the wrong sides completely and now what they're trying to do is they're trying to place people in uniform in between you and them and they are trying to cause a problem between you and the uniform people instead of the uniform people go hang on here for a second this is absolutely outrageous and this is not only going to happen in your community it's going to happen in mine eventually listen you might live down in the sticks or you might live in a different part of Dublin, or you might even agree with this sort of stuff. But when this sort of stuff 
like these people welcoming people into where a country that they don't know who they are where they're from if they're the criminal history or nothing these other countries aren't sending their best let me tell you that and when that happens to you in your community then people like me are just gonna go i told you because you can see what's happening in america you can see it's happening in the uk you can see it's happening as well in france and various other parts of the world so again deciding to try and put the guardy in between yourself and the people the guardy are going to realize quicker i think than most that this is a bad idea what you're trying to do to clamp down on protests in the fingers area what do you mean clamp down what does that mean people are organizing themselves there peacefully and they're having their peace been said because you just don't want to hear it you don't want to have any sort of conversation with people that feel differently to you so in protest in january this year outside a hotel housing asylum seekers and refugees in Ballywan. but people were told that all these people were coming from the blue and yellow flag waving country but none of those people that actually arrived matched the census that happened in the blue and yellow flag waving country not the ethnicities or anything like that as well and then it's predominantly fellas so why are all these fellas coming to this country what's the story with that i'm a bit annoyed about the guards not dealing with this if they've been more firm from day one what do you mean by that expand upon that what do you mean i'm not going to give them ammunition by going to the guards no you're just gonna go crying to the media instead they want to appear like martyrs like this that we're standing up to people i stood my ground against these people they've done nothing for the community and they never will they will come out and abuse people and that's it well we shall see ellis a self-confessed former ira member and former television repairman as if that's meaning anything served a 10-year sentence in port leaf prison in the 1980s after being convicted of explosive charges oh but this fella is uh very upset about horty words been said to him the hypocrisy as like i said it's astounding isn't it he was also later acquitted at a separate trial in a london court on charges of conspiring to cause explosions in britain in the early 1980s well wow. well wow. so you were convicted of explosive charges and then you were acquitted at a separate trial and you have the gall to say to people that there is the folks <laughs> and you have the gall then to say gary should have been more firm with these people isn't it insane the world that we currently live in right now we live in a radically different timeline than anyone else expected us to be living in right now and this year. And you've got politicians that are actively working, in my humble opinion, against constituents, against people that are Irish, and are against people, in my humble opinion, for future generations. It's absurd. And like I said beforehand, it's too stupid to be stupid. But do us a favour. Go out. Make sure someone that's in that area, in that constituency gets a vote and takes this fella's seat that's the way to go about this 100 percent. because i firmly believe that we can and we will regain control of our country and it is very doable and it is very easily done when it comes to the ballot box now i know some people are out there that don't believe in that but make these people do outrageous things so that it becomes obvious to everybody and in the meantime Put someone in there that's going to cause them a bit of butter and that's going to say the truth. The best that we can do because this is a slow born baby. Make sure you like, make sure.